I'll show you how to add exponential moving averages on your chart in trading view and how to edit the settings. Up at the top, go to indicators, click that, then search for EMA. Moving average exponential is what we want. You can click it once to put it on the chart. If you click it twice, it puts a second EMA on there and so on. And then up at the top left, we can change the settings. So hover over each of the EMAs, whichever one you want to edit, go to the right hand side, click settings here. We want to change the length. So it defaults to a nine period EMA. You can choose anything you want. So let's go for a 100 period EMA like this. And then we'll just change the style as well, just to make it easier to spot. And then press OK. On the second EMA, we'll click the settings there. We'll change it to a 200 period. And then we'll click the style again, yellow, and then click OK. Now you have the two uh, exponential moving averages on your chart. However, where we see the 200 and 100 period exponential moving averages, these are tracking the time frame of the chart that we're on. If you go to the settings again and inputs, you'll see down here where it says time frame, it automatically tracks the time frame of the chart that you're looking at. So the 100 and 200 period exponential moving averages are actually the 100 and 200 day exponential moving averages because as you can see up here on the daily chart. So if we switch down to a four hour chart, for example, the EMAs have completely changed. They are now tracking 100 and 200 periods, which is four hours in length. So these EMAs are completely different. We, if we go back to the one day, that will change again, and we're now looking at the 100 and 200 day EMAs. If you want to look at a certain time frame for, it, for your EMAs, but you also want to change the time frame of the chart that you're looking at, then we can do that. Traders will often do this, for example, looking at higher time frame EMAs, for example, the daily, and then go down when trading to maybe a four hour or something like that. But you don't want the EMAs to change because the EMAs are going to uh, give you your higher time frame levels to trade. So what we can do is come up to the EMA settings and down here in time frame, we just choose the daily, for example, and then for the 200, we're going to look at the daily as well. That means that these EMAs are going to be tracking the 100 and 200 daily exponential moving averages. However, when I change the chart now, maybe down to a four hour, the EMAs haven't changed, but my chart time frame has. So that's how you can look at higher time frame EMAs and have them not change even while changing your chart. You can obviously go back to settings and then just put it back to the chart option here and you'll see that EMA changes again. If you need a full guide for TradingView, that will be linked down in the description alongside some deposit and trading bonuses on the exchanges I use. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.